I don't know about you, but this morning I woke up hankering for another mediocre MCU show. As luck would have it, She-Hulk just arrived on Disney+. Plus. Tatiana Maslany and Mark Ruffalo star in She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, a comedy on Disney+. Plus. The most generous thing I can say about this show is it's watchable. If you have zero going on in your life, or nothing better to do, clearly like I don't, you can sit through this show with a bowl of cereal and think to yourself, this is what life is now for me. That's what I did. Uh, that's that's where I'm at. Tatiana Maslany's better than the material. I used to think Mark Ruffalo was as well, but he's been phoning this role in for like a decade now, so I, I guess it's par for the course for him. She proved to me long ago she's a fantastic actor thanks to her performances in Orphan Black, where she plays like seven different characters. Here she's just playing one, Jennifer Walters. I guess she's also voice acting She-Hulk because it's CG. There's a lot of CG in this show. It's not good. It's, it's not good. It's not bad. It's just there, like everything. It's just there. Consume it, it's a product. The Hulk has once again transformed off camera. This character sucks so hard in the MCU, doesn't he? He started out with so much potential. But then once Endgame came out and the writers decided, hey, let's do all his character arcs off screen, they just went with that going forward. Now he's created some dumbass invention that stores the Hulk blood so he can't transform anymore. It's very bizarre. And it, again, it was done off camera, so we're just along for the ride. And like seven minutes into the episode, the damn thing breaks open and his green blood gets all over Tatiana's wounds, causing her to become She-Hulk. That's the plot they went with to turn her. People will turn to things like Spider-Man and say, Adam, why are you being critical about this when a freaking spider drops down and bites Peter? That's how he transforms. Well, the problem is, oftentimes now with the MCU, the fault of the hero is why something else happens. Like in this situation, the only reason she turned was because dumbass Mark Ruffalo's Hulk had this little canister of green blood spill open. Like the thing was barely protected. It's in like a little plastic case on his arm. Put that behind, like put a sleeve around it or something. I saw comments online by critics who are clearly more important than me, got to see the show early, that Tatiana's unlikable as this character. That she's, um, she's a smart ass, she's smug. These are all fair criticisms you could give to every single man in the MCU. Here's the deal, most of the women in the Marvel Cinematic Universe have been written like dog shit. Even the most popular one, Black Widow, kinda lame. James Gunn's the only one that gets how to write these ladies, give them some actual personality. Captain Marvel is boring as shit. Wanda's pretty dull, even though she's been in like a thousand MCU things. She's still not that exciting. She just looks cool. And obviously mom is hot as shit. And so what the writers did with Jennifer Walters is made her a lot like the guys. And it's not like Bruce Banner's a stranger, they're cousins. I talk to a lot of my family like this. I'm a smart ass. We rib each other constantly, poke fun. This felt natural. Now what felt unnatural is the fact that they have this relationship that seems pretty buddy-buddy and we've never heard of her until now. Uh, we've seen Bruce Banner quite a bit. But again, like all these guy characters have changed so much. You can chalk it up to character growth, I chalk that up to bad writing. Lazy writing, where they've taken Tony Stark's personality and basically infused it into all the other characters. Sometimes they're a little silly or a little bit more frat boy, but at the end of the day, most of the male personalities now just congeal into one. The first episode really is just focused on Walters and Banner. There's some teases of things to come. What Jennifer Walters will be doing in this show, which is essentially being a lawyer. I assume this is like the comic book. She talks to the audience, breaks the fourth wall, looking at the camera. Doesn't happen very much here. It I mean, it kind of worked. It, it wasn't used enough, I didn't think. Another thing I heard the special critics say was, this feels more like a show. Like they actually followed a, a structure that would be episodic instead of cutting up a movie like it felt like Moon Knight did or Hawkeye. You know, they nailed it. This does feel very episodic, monster of the week type stuff. Like she'll have a case, she'll maybe have to fight someone, she'll move on with her day. There are my scorching criticisms on the show so far. Let me know if you saw it and what you thought. Like the video if you had a good time. Hulk smash that subscribe button. That, that, that works for once. Smashing something actually kind of fits in the context of the video. And hopefully, I'll see you next time. It's funny, they're really promoting that this show is a comedy. I assume it's because it, it is, but also they can kind of scapegoat the fact that it doesn't look very good, that the action is very bad. It's just not polished. Uh, but I look at shows like Peacemaker on HBO, and that's arguably a comedy as well. It's a lot of humor, a lot of action. It looks great. It's just all around a far better show. I'm just saying you can really have it all. 
if you put your best foot forward, Disney. But I think it's more about getting the content out. Anyway, since you're still here, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. This is a one-man operation on this channel. It's taken a lot to do, and it would be great if you could just say, hey, Adam, here's a buck a month, keep going, and you get perks too. So it's a win-win. It's a